Hey guys, it's me Chrissy and I'm here with 2016, my 2016 wrap up um, book 71 to 75 and hopefully I can keep this going before the end of the year in like two weeks so yeah anyway um the first book I picked up and finished was Dash and Lily's I uh, know the 12 days of Dash and Lily I'm just so used to saying Dash and Lily's book of theirs but yeah this was actually a really really good sequel um, I don't read a lot of contemporary so for me contemporary ones when I find I like it it's quite it's kind of surprising so this one I really did enjoy I laughed out loud a lot of the times and I really like all of the modern references that they had in here uh, only thing I didn't like was how come they would I don't know maybe when you say someone to your girlfriend but you've only been dating for a year but at the same time you barely see each other which is like what kind of happened here so it's just like do you yeah that's just the only part I'm foggy on but I really did enjoy this book up next is um, The Little Prince by this person. Yeah. Um, I remember Hannah from Hannah Tay. She said that it's a good book. It's insightful. And to be honest with you, yes. There was a part that said like, what the heart most needs most, um, the eyes cannot see. And I think that in some ways, yeah, it's true. But at the same time, I was actually really busy. And I've been reading this for, reading this for over a week. Um, I couldn't really get the full impact of the book. I think maybe if I was to try again at some point, um, reread this in one sitting, no disturbances, I think I'd like it more. After that, I picked up um, Provinciana Problems by Jess Guanco, who happens to be an upperclassman from my uh, school. And she, this is a little comic book about. Um, Basically, a girl from the province moving to Manila, and it has little cute stories of um, like everything daily happenings in Manila that um, don't really happen here in the province. And one of my favorite stories is let me open this. It's actually in the plastic, and this was sold to me at an, at an art fest. I'm counting it anyway, even though it's kind of a cheat because you can't find it on Goodreads. But to be honest with you, it. Since it's a comic book, it's reading material anyway, so I'm just gonna count it. Because I am cheaty like that. Anyway, here. My favorite one is this part where he, where a guy is making fun of her for um, saying the word triangle. Here in the island I'm from, we say triangle. But apparently in Manila, and I've heard this confirmed, um, he was... You, they call it triangle and um, a funny story about that is my sister is actually in Enchanted Kingdom I think in Manila which is an amusement park and um, as they were um, they wanted to ride one of the um, rides and then the speaker the announcement came on the speaker and it said um, please line up for space for the space shuttle not shuttle Chatel. I just find it really funny. It's one of my favorite things about um, the, the Tagalog accent. It's just, yeah. Anyway, so there's more things you can L. It's Circle, Tricycle, Volkswagen Beetle, Popsicle, Stuart Little, and Bobel. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's it. This is actually really funny. So, yeah, I'm cheating like that, but I loved it. Um, and then after that, I decided to. I actually forgot I bought this, which is not good, but I found it again, and I was, I was just like, you know, I should read you. So that is Batman False Faces by Brian K. Vaughn. This is actually, all of the stories in this um, comic book or graphic novel thing um, are all of Brian K. Vaughn's earliest works when he was starting out in the uh, comics, graphic novel, the, well, illustrating, basically as a writer and um, he has like a, a, a weird disclaimer thing at the beginning saying like you know don't judge him because it was all his early stuff and actually it's quite good um, it's false faces because it's about basically Batman it has Batman stories and Wonder Woman stories and um, they all have like an identity issue thing going on in that's the main theme um, identity issues and it's really good and I would suggest you pick it up because if you're a fan of his stuff now, 
I guess you might like his more earlier things. And then I just finished. Actually, okay, here's a funny story. I was going to the bookstore, as like I always do. It's pra I practically live there. And um, I so happened to walk by the new releases or like the new arrivals in the bookstore. And I just stopped short because I was like, is that issue one Harley Quinn Suicide Squad? I was like, what? What? I know it's not Harley Quinn Suicide Squad, but I was like, I saw Harley Quinn. I was like, Suicide Squad? What? And then I um, walked further in and I was like, oh my gosh. They had like Suicide Squad issues one to four. Um, Harley Quinn and um, Deadshot. Yeah, Deadshot. And then um, as I walked for, I went up to the other aisles and I saw, oh, they had the killing joke and, and like all of the fun stuff fun stuff um yeah but the old everything else had like duplicate copies but the only one that i didn't see like a double copy of was harley quinn batman so um uh, most of these are everything in here is the um Har are harley quinn stories um so you have the writers paul dinney um there's like a table of contents um, Paul Dini, Doug Alexander, uh, James Patrick, Marius Wicks, Paul Dini again, um, Jim Zubkovich, and Matt Kind. It's really like, um, and not just that. So here's right, here's the cover, right? But the art inside, the stories actually all have different art styles. My favorite one is the art style that kind of looks like. Um, one sec. It kind of looks like Archie, the old Archie comics. If you if you can see that, the way she's drawn, yeah. And I really like the stories featuring Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. I just really find their friendship interesting. Friendship slash, you know, benefits. Uh, quite interesting, as well as the fact that like they're both, they're not really in competition with each other. They just, they're friends, and it's really fun actually. So, um, yeah, these are everything that I just finished now, <laughs> and um, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Um, have you read any of these? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!